Frederick. And Frederick? I work for you in water. Aha. Uh -huh. Frederick, oh, you're here in the water cube today and you would like to talk with us about uh, water and climate change. Uh, why? Why water and climate change? Well, I think that's a topic a lot of people talk about these days and a lot of people in the water community are very excited about and they want water to be there very prominently when anybody talks about climate change. And I think that's correct because water is, when you talk about climate change, water is the topic that everybody should be talking about. If you think about the impacts of climate change, it's really all water related. You think about changing rainfall patterns, you change a lot more droughts, more floods, you talk about rising sea levels, intrusion of salt water into coastal freshwater reservoirs. So it really affects water and really affects how we manage water. So why don't we talk about uh, water t uh, sufficiently enough in, uh, when we talk about climate change? What, what, why didn't we talk about it? Well, I think that's not correct. I think we always talk about water. Yeah. But sometimes we don't use the word water to talk about it. We talk about food security. We talk about energy. And sometimes people forget that water is very much connected to food security. We cannot grow food without water. A lot of water is used in hydropower stations to produce energy and we also need obviously energy for um, pumping up water to the places where we need it. So it's really closely linked and yet it's hardly ever mentioned, which upsets a lot of people and quite correctly so. But on the other hand, it does not matter that much whether they mention it or not, sooner or later people will find out we need to talk about water much more. So you work for UN Water. What is UN Water doing in terms of linking water with climate change? UN Water aims to provide a platform for the UN system and for the whole water community to bring approaches together to move away from the sectoral way of looking at water issues or energy issues or agricultural issues and sort of merge these, bring ideas together. It's a meeting of minds. It's a platform where we can better coordinate our approaches, devise solutions which step out of the box of thinking very along very sectoral lines and thinking about it more broadly. How do things connect to each other and how does water play into it? Uh, any U UN water event planned in the near future where we all should be um, focusing on? We will engage a lot on Rio Plus 20, the conference in um, Rio de Janeiro on sustainable development in um, June 2012. And there are a lot of events leading up to this. And we're partnering with a lot of other organizations. For example, Seaweed and World Water Week will be having a lot of events. And the next stop will be the Bonn Conference on the water, energy, and food nexus. The next stop will be the World Water Forum. So there are a lot of events, but to me, Really, a lot depends what do we do in between these events. Are we just talking about these events and nice panels, or are we taking actions in between? Are we doing our homework? Are we devising solutions so that we can bring something to the table and say, the water community is offering this. We have devised these solutions. They will be helpful to you, agricultural water managers. They will be helpful to you, people focusing on energy. They will be helpful to urban planners. They will be helpful to people dealing with climate change, with population issues. So that's where I think really it counts. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Hope to see you back in the water cube soon. Thank you. <laughs>